Hello, Think Tinkers. Well, today I want to talk about being a human doormat. Are you treated like a doormat by your friends and family? Do you have a hard time saying no when you really ought to? A lot of people know you as the go-to person, but it's not because they're really admiring your intelligence or your abilities. It may be because they're just using you. You have to be careful with this because sometimes this happens even with close friends and family. Now I say that because a lot of people say, well, it's my family, but yeah, even they will know where to push your buttons. This is not a good thing for you if you have put yourself in a doormat position. And by the way, no is not a dirty word. There are many ways to say no to something when it's not in your highest good. So if somebody's saying, hey, so-and-so, I need you to come over and do this for me. Uh, could you please come over here and do that for me because I need, and you really can't. Don't say yes just because you feel bad. Or, don't give a long explanation as to why you can't. Um, this means that you feel a sense of guilt, and trust me, there's no need to feel guilt over stuff like this. You can simply say, you know what, now's not a good time. I don't think I'll be able to do that. There are many ways to get out of doing something when you know you're being used. So part of loving yourself is not allowing anyone to treat you like a doormat. It's okay to do things for others, but it's not okay to have people step all over you or have people just kind of speak to you in a derogatory or disrespectful way. You've got to love and respect yourself. And part of this is protecting you from that kind of treatment. All right, Think Tinkers, may you always have wonderful friends and family around you. And treat yourself the best. Bye-bye.